the visual cortex the area 17 or the striate cortex is the primary visual cortex area 18 and 19 are the visual association area region of the visual cortex called homonymous hemianoptia which is pairing of the macular area representation in the visual cortex is along the calcarine fissure and the foveal or macular region is represented posteriorly visual cortex has six layers axons from the lateral geniculate body and on the pyramidal cells on Broadman area 4 of the cortex and they project on the other layers of the visual cortex. How are the cells arranged in visual cortex? Like somatosensory cortex, the cells in the visual cortex are arranged in orientation column which gives exact location of the object. How the cells in the pyramidal layer function? Cells in the pyramidal layer 4 of the visual cortex, they have an on-center and off-center cells. They respond to a body of a light covering the center. These cells are connected to the simple cells which are present in the layer 3 and these simple cells are connected to the complex cells which are present in the layer 2, 3, 5 and 6. Simple cell responds to bar of light, lines or edges. Firing rate of the simple cell decreases if the bar of the light moves more than 10 degrees. Whereas the complex cells, they respond to a linear stimulus. The macular fibers from lateral geniculate body end up more posteriorly on the lips of the calcarine fissure. The macular presentation area is very large and separate from the peripheral which arterial occlusion produces homonymous hemianopsia. Blood supply of the occipital cortex is by the posterior cerebral arteries and the branches of the middle cerebral artery. Occlusion of the posterior cerebral artery produces homonymous hemianopsia with spearing of the macular area. Why there is a spearing of the macular area? Because macular area is more posteriorly at the tip and that part is supplied by the branches of the middle cerebral artery. So occlusion of the middle cerebral artery produces homonymous macular defects. Can destruction of the occipital lobe produce complete blindness? Unilateral destruction of the occipital lobe does not produce complete blindness. It produces homonymous hemianopia. Only bilateral occipital lobe destruction produces complete blindness. How do you differentiate a blind eye from a lesion in the optic nerve or an occipital lobe? The occipital lobe destruction bilateral blind eyes. Whereas in an optic nerve if destroyed it involves only one eye and the light reflex is absent if blindness is due to optic nerve involvement before the optic chiasma. But if the destruction is in the occipital lobes bilaterally, then the pupillary light reflex will be present in that case.